This is a concept that we've been discussing for about a year with regard to rebuilding the hand warmer heads. For example, the Zippo hand warmer head, which is getting the platinum catalyst material, this stuff, and putting it into a spring and then putting that in the head. The idea being is to hold it in place better, uh, stop it from fragmenting out of the head, and also to uh, limit the amount of catalyst that you're actually putting in there so you can regulate and get an optimum amount of burn time and uh, heat production. <clears throat> so what we're going to do here is run through repacking a spring, putting it in the head, and then seeing how that works. So what I have is some platinum catalyst pieces here, and I have my spring, which tends to roll around. So what I'm going to do is take some catalyst material and pack it into the spring with tweezers to the best of my ability and you can see how when you've got fragmented catalyst how the spring is kind of helpful in that regard the forceps might in fact <coughs> be better and uh, they do recommend washing your hands and not breathing in the platinum catalyst material the dust from it so after you're done packing if you use your bare hands go wash your hands afterwards so now some of the considerations when you're dealing with the spring is um, stainless to stop the rust from forming. <clears throat> the compression ratio, if you compress the spring too much and you've got all the catalyst behind a metal barrier, it's not going to receive much oxygen. So you want spacing between the springs enough to allow oxygen to get into the catalyst. And you want the spring to compress just enough to hold itself in the head, but not too much that it's basically forming a pipe around the catalyst material. You want the spring also almost the same diameter as the head itself so that it's a proper fit. And you can see here in this example you then compress the spring enough to get it into the head tamp it all down a bit. You can remove some of the loose material to tidy it up. And your Zippo head is now ready to be put back on your hand warmer and activated it. <clears throat> so the Zippo heads are actually nice in that you can see they do have a bit of a cage already which facilitates putting in the catalyst material and then what you normally will find is there's a retainer of some sort in the bottom of the head and we're going to just quickly move on to the generic Chinese heads they're a little bit different they don't pack as easily because they've got a big open space there. They use this retainer along the bottom to hold stuff in. And they've got a couple of tabs, which you can see here, which are bent down, which kind of act as a bit of a shelf to hold in. The catalyst material, which looks like this, a standard Chinese catalyst, that's one that just came out of that head. 
it's never been activated. It's probably mainly iron content. I, d I don't even use them. I just take them out and replace them as soon as I get ahead. So instead of using that, what I've done is I've removed the retainer. I've bent those tabs back. And rather than repack another spring, I will just take the one that we just did and place it into, you can see I lost a bit of my catalyst here, so what I would probably do is just repack. I won't make you wait to watch that. That's a fairly simple concept to understand. And I'm sure many of you are more elegant than me at this. So <coughs> there is a catalyst material in the spring. And now what I'm going to do is put it on the Zippo, wait for three minutes for the fumes to start mingling with the catalyst and we'll light it up and see what kind of results we get. I've recently come to favor using the USB lighter to light the hand warmers for a number of reasons. They're pretty cheap and the wind doesn't blow them out. They're nice and light and they don't subject the uh, catalyst to scorching by using an open flame. So the only downside to them really is you can't preheat the reservoir body. So if you're outside and you need to relight, uh, that could be, become an issue. So for quick and dirty light, uh, this is my go-to method and what I also like is it um, times out after it reaches the right so you just hold it right on the catalyst head like that and um, you can wait for it to time out there it goes then you can flip the hand warmer over retract the USB into the head and then bring it out again and when it starts to glow place it back on the catalyst head and leave it until it goes out and then your catalyst will start to get activated at that point just wait a few minutes and if it's still not going then do it again and if it's still not going after that then you need to check and see why you're not getting evaporation in to the catalyst head. So that's the rebuild using a proper spring that uh, may simplify things and maybe get you a little bit more life in terms of uh, your catalyst. So that's what it looks like and I'm thinking that I guess we'll start adding these springs to the kits and now that I've got the USB lighters in we'll make those available as well.